Hey everyone, we're doing this Charlie Brown summer painting. Well, it's summer because they're, they're on the dock. So I'm mixing my blue and my white, and I'm going to paint in this background, the sky. Well, that looks good. So now I'm going to paint into my leg. So I'm going to take that blue and just paint that in blue. I'm not even going to mix it with white. I'm painting all the way around. My sister-in-law loves Charlie Brown. She got my daughter the cutest. Okay, so I just finished up painting the lake and then I took my small brush and went in any little areas to clean the canvas up. So any little corners or straightening out the dock or these lines. Don't worry about these two lines because we're going to put land on that. And when I do, I add a little white to my brown because I want this lighter than this color. So I need a different color. And you can use your small brush too. I just chose to use this big one. Now I'm going to add black and black here. But this time I'm actually going to use my small brush. My sister-in-law loves Snoopy. And she got my daughter a Snoopy onesie. And I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of it. It's just so cute. Love it. She outgrew it. And then I have another daughter. And she outgrew it. So she's sitting in our closet. Okay. Use a little bit of water that will help glide this if you can't otherwise like if you can keep wiggling it back and forth a little bit if for some reason you go outside the lines another way of getting rid of uh, black paint is like getting rid of a stain you just take a little water and wipe it off with a paper towel and work at it like you would work on a stain Also, since I'm working with black, I'm just going to lightly take this black and outline the lake. I'm going to take my small brush, and you can also use your Sharpie. But I'm just going to go back and outline his Your lines going horizontal. They're not all the same width or size, and it's more horizontal. I'm going to make the land which goes out. And you don't have to do this, I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. I'm going to make this line going out because I'm going to fill that in with brown. And I'm going to do the same for here and then we'll make our trees. So I'm going to clean my brush and make that brown again. The brown is red and green. I'm going to go back into the brown in this. Let's make it a little lighter. land. I'm just kind of going over some of that black. So I start from the top and then I went down a little bit and it should automatically blend. And then I'm going to make the tree. So I'm going to take my small brush. I'm going to grab 
a little bit of black first, but and then I'm mixing also yellow and blue with that black. You can also take green. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to make a line, and I'm just going to kind of go across. So I'm just going making these lines across, but as it gets further down, the lines get longer. Another way of doing this is you just dab, think of it as like a triangle, so I'm just dabbing the triangle and dab the line, and then I'm just making some lines go out just a little bit. So I'll do that again. I'm dabbing a line, and then as I go further down, I'm just dabbing across a little bit. And you can make as many trees as you want, or you don't even need to make trees. You can just be treeless. Go in and clean up my clouds. I'm just adding some white. I'm going to not outline these clouds. But again, that is up to you. You paint it in the lines perfectly. You don't even have to worry about that. The lines are too thick. Just wait until they dry and then you can go back in and paint around the lines. You can even paint over some of those lines to make it thin. So I can thin these out just a tinge. A little bit now that I know it's like just the nice thing when you paint from home is you can always change things later on. But I can clean that up just a tinge. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this painting. This was a lot of fun.